Hey y'all, welcome to Alicat Customs. Today we are finally going to drag this old beater out of the pole barn and get it put in the shot to begin its revival after letting it sit for over two years. Man, it's been way too long, so let's get after it. Man, oh man. Looks like first off, we got to air up all four tires and then uh, clean the dust off this thing before we put it in the shop because, man, it is well seasoned. That truck's heavier than I remember it being. Especially trying to push it on a soft, soft, muddy ground with the uh, drag radios and a spool in the back. It didn't exactly want to steer very well. And uh, I know I said I was going to wash it, but I forgot we had a freeze last week and uh, popped a water line between the house and the shop. So we have water at the house, but not the shop. And I forgot about it. And uh, it's rained every day since then. So I'm not playing in the mud trying to fix the water line. So. I'm going to be working on a nasty truck, but uh, it's okay. It gives me motivation to get it running, which hopefully won't take too long. But uh, go and investigate and see what I got to do. All right, y'all. So I know y'all are chomping a bit to hear this old beater make noise, but I got a bit of a confession to make. So as Paul Harvey would say, this is the rest of the story. So y'all know that it was a rough out in the last time I had this truck at this uh, track. In a previous video I posted a while back, if you haven't seen it, just know it was absolute madness. Well, there's more to the story. As I said in my last video, I had a bunch of irons in the fire and was pretty overwhelmed with all the madness. Um, a few weeks before the last race night, I added a whole bunch of work to the truck as I was finishing my winter upgrades and my springtime shakedown runs at the exact same time because I'd spent most of the winter either traveling, working, or battling ice storms. Um, work was finally, was finally wide open because summer was starting. So as the old saying goes, you gotta make hay while the sun shines. So I was working over 50 hours a week, uh, plus going to the track when the weather cooperate, which it seemed like it was one of those weather patterns where on Friday night, it would storm and rain the tracks out the rest of the weekend on a regular basis. Well, that weekend, it showed that it was going to rain on Saturday, but not Friday. So at least we could go do some testing. So uh, my buddy James got, had his car loaded up and ready, and I hauled my truck to work so that I could leave straight from work and head to the track. So I worked almost 11 hours before heading to the track. Uh, it was pretty fun because we timed our escape from work at this, uh, close enough at the same time that we actually met each other 
on the interstate in Jackson and then high-tailed it eastbound to the racetrack at a high rate of fuel consumption to outrun the rain that was on the way. So when I got to the track, I realized that the battery was dead on the C10. Uh, so I jumped it off and I hoped that by driving around making laps uh, for a bit in the pits that the battery would charge uh, and it would be fine. But uh, when I made my last pass, the truck went dead just past the finish line and I could not get it cranked back up. So we dragged it to the pits and tried to jumpstart it, but nothing was working. I was bound and determined in my delirious exhaustion to try to make as many passes as possible, but eventually I just had to give up. And for the first time since I bought the truck, I had to push it on the trailer, which is definitely not something I enjoy. Well, right after that, I hurt my foot and I spent a, a whole month recovering when I finally got back on my feet and back to work, I finally had a chance to actually forward the truck. Uh, so I picked up a new battery after work and installed it, and then I fired the truck up. Um, it didn't really, it didn't want to crank, and when it did crank, it sounded kind of rough, but it was running. So I just shut it off and, and let it sit. I didn't check anything out. Heck, I didn't even open the hood since the battery's in the bed of the truck. And that was the end of July, 2021. And of course, with all, all the wedding and everything going on, I had zero time because I actually moved um, at the end of July into an apartment to, to prepare for our wedding at the beginning of September. So we fast forward to the end of October 2021 and I wanted to take Amy on her first cruise in the truck. Um, it was also about the same time as car show season starting up. Uh, so I bolted on the exhaust, I changed the tires and I fired it up and the truck still sounded rough. So I kind of looked it over, but I didn't really have time to investigate it. Honestly, I probably should have taken the time to investigate pull plugs, change oil, all that good stuff. But in my mind, the truck ran its fastest passes ever before the battery quit. So it shouldn't be hurt in the way I was thinking. While I was looking things over, it seemed to clear up. So down the road we went. Almost immediately after getting on the road, I noticed it was down on power. Then after a couple of miles of driving, the oil pressure started fluttering, so I turned it around and I limped it back to the shop. When I got to the shop, it was rattling pretty bad in the bottom end, and the oil pressure started fluttering and falling, so I shut it off real quick, and in all my frustration, I just shoved it in the barn. So, that brings us to here. I'll be pulling the Camper 454 out apart to see what broke, and then I'm gonna rebuild it and get it back in the fight condition. My plan is to make a whole bunch of videos of the engine build. Um, one of my main goals of this channel is to help others learn as they follow along in my builds. So I'll be starting a how-to series of videos as I get this old booter back ready for racing. It's gonna be a fun adventure as we get this truck back together and back racing. My goal list when I decided to put this truck back together was to get a six second time slip in the eighth a 10 second slip in the quarter mile, and also to get this old beater back to cruising the coast so we can enjoy the beach party together for the first time. I know, I know, I've babbled enough about this, so I'll end this video here as I'm about to dive in and do an all topsy on this old camp Campbell 454. Of course, I'll be filming it and y'all will see that soon. So make sure that you uh, like, subscribe so you can keep up and uh, I'll see y'all next time right here at Alicat Customs.